Okay, so do you procrastinate a lot? Well, I got some tips from um, some audiobooks I want to share with you. <clears throat> and it's crazy that I found that it's between 80 to 95% of people procrastinate on a regular basis. Procrastinators also report feelings of distress, anxiety, and guilt. Now, it is said that uh, they procrastinate because they have a fear of failure. So you may feel this way, you may be able to relate. So here are some tips on how to avoid procrastination. First is mindfulness practice. So essentially what you want to do here is basically be mindful of what you're doing, right? If you're cleaning, be 100% in your cleaning. If you're driving, focus 100% on your driving. If you're doing the dishes, do the dishes mindfully. Why? Well, first, intentionally doing nothing will prevent you from engaging in avoidance behavior. And second, as you sit and think about the work you have to do, the anxiety will likely subside. All right, so tip number two is avoid choking under pressure. Motivation is like pressure. When there's too much, so basically too much of anything, too much of water, you're going to drown, right? When there's too much of motivation, you're likely to... Eh, Choke. Nangyari na to sa akin. When I had to shoot the game-winning shot, I don't know if it's real or not, but... <laughs> or, you know, I had to make a free throw. If not, we would lose. Something like that. I don't know. But I've remembered having a lot of pressure and motivation to win something that I actually choked. All right? So not too much pressure, guys. So, sakto lang. All right? Imagine if I... Uh, if, imagine if you ask two groups of kids to shoot a basketball foul shots, right? And they will be rewarded 10 pesos per shot. Maybe they may make 6 out of 10 shots. But imagine if you had to make them shoot each shot and it's a million pesos per shot. Baka mintis na lahat kasi na pressure sila, di ba? So hopefully that analogy or... So hopefully that helps visualize that. Okay? Tip number three, break down big goals into smaller goals. So when the action items are broken down into easily digestible bits, the person would feel less anxious, which means they can procrastinate less. So if it's, you know, getting a six pack, let's break it down into a six month program. Um, having 400 calories less per week, right? And then, you know, maybe the next month when that's easy and it becomes a habit, exercising an extra day per week. Or then maybe the month after that, sleeping earlier the night before so I can work out first thing in the morning when I have more energy. Those kind of things. Break it down. Para mas madali i-consume, diba? Next is celebrate small successes. Numerous studies actually show celebrating milestones keeps you motivated. So ask yourself this right now. Do you reward yourself when... You know, you drink an extra glass of water every day and now you're reaching your um, daily amount of water. Do you reward yourself when you drink an extra glass of water and now you're reaching your uh, daily needs, right? So if you were supposed to drink three liters a day, right, and you finally reached it, do you reward yourself for that? Or do you just move on to the next because it's just a small win? Well, every small win motivates you to keep going no matter how little it is because it makes you realize how far you've gone. Okay, finally did this. Next, right? It's really the journey. Hindi lang yung destination ang dapat pinaproblema natin. Pero every single win. Para naman motivate tayo. And this is why we always do monthly reassessments with our clients. Just to show them how far they've gone and congratulate them. And we get to celebrate together.